Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and yes, we do talk once again about the November 2019 update. A lot of questions on the channel about this update, and I will answer some of them that uh, are the most popular in the past couple of days. So, a lot of you have been asking, um, when's the official date? Once again, no official date, but we're pretty sure it's the first half of November. So anywhere between November 1st and November 15th, we will have that. It could be actually in the first week of November. Some rumors are saying that it's the first week of November. Uh, there will be a release of the Windows Server 1909, and that would be, on, I think it's on November 15th that that happens. Some people have speculated that maybe they'll bring out the two versions together. But a lot of people are saying because Windows Server needs to have people having the latest update, probably the update would come first. Windows Server 1909 would come after. So the first half of November, Microsoft says it's complete. And so um, this means, you know, when they uh, release it, they release it. And it could be any time in November. But it's pretty sure the f good chance of the first week or at least the first half of November. People asking me, I want to have the image, I want to have the download link, no download link. If you want to have this right now, you need to go to the Windows Insider program in Windows 10. And that you go through your Windows updates. On the bottom left, you will see Windows Insider program. Activate that with a Microsoft account. Choose carefully. You have to be in the release preview ring and you will see that a download once it actually everything works you're going to restart you'll see that there'll be a download of the feature update for 1909 so a lot of you are saying is it still 1909 yeah they kept 1909 and yeah that's microsoft for you i mean the may 2019 update is 1903 which is march 2019 so you know they're, they're just keeping that number it's just a number anyways so yeah it's still version 1909 but coming out in november uh, which means it should be, you know, 1911. But that would make it a little complicated because it kind of resembles other versions. But anyways, um, it is available so for people that want. And once you go there, you'll see that there's a little switch that um, gives you the, uh, the possibility to opt out of flight of Windows. I already have a video on the channel showing this if you look at it and I posted that a few weeks ago. There you can turn on that little uh, slider, which means that when this is officially complete, you'll be there. It, we are there, pretty much, okay? Um, maybe another cumulative update could come through, but um, that, you know, we're, we're pretty much at the uh, November update now. So it's a little bit of that window that we probably are in where you can uh, get it before everybody else. Uh, a lot of you have been asking, does it fix this, does it fix that, does it fix that buggy thing there and that Bluetooth here and that. It, look, it is a huge list of fixes. November 2019 update in reality is a huge bug fixing update. So that's why I posted my video earlier saying, you know, maybe this is the version you want to have of Windows 10 because that's the focus of this version. It's the focus of having the best version possible. So, um, you know, we'll see when all of that starts rolling out to everybody, what everybody will have as problems or not. Hopefully not. But uh, this is um, really a, a mostly a bug fixing thing. What new features? Well, I posted some of the new features. There's not a lot, honestly. Some of them are third party apps like your phone app. Um, there's a new CPU throttling feature that's supposed to extend battery life, but you have to have a very recent computer for that to work. Um, you have uh, the calendar that you can actually add uh, some uh, appointments without actually open, opening the calendar. Just clicking on the date and time in the bottom right on your taskbar, you already are able to do that, which is nice. Uh, you know, a lot of the features, because there are th some turned off features within this November update. There are some features that are coming to 20H1 that are kept off. 
because the focus of this update was not to have features. The focus of this update was to fix as many bugs as possible. And that's mostly it. Is it a feature update that we call? Yeah, they're calling it a feature update. On my computer when I installed it, it actually said, well, here you go. This is the uh, latest feature update. Okay, thank you. And so it is treated as the a, a new feature update. It's just that it doesn't have a lot of features. That's mostly it. It's a cumulative update once again. No huge reinstall of anything. And uh, once again, I want to say that when this is available officially in November, yes, the media creation tool will probably be updated and you will be able to get an image of this latest build if you want to have one. So uh, that's the questions that I'm answering today. If there are more questions people are asking, I will, of course, be doing another questions and answer video uh, as questions come. I won't repeat older questions videos. There are already a few of my videos up there that are talking about questions and answers for this new version. And uh, you can refer to that for other types of questions that were already asked. I don't want to repeat myself all the time. So uh, if any other questions come through that I haven't actually talked about, we will, of course, talk about them. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.